name is Lenitra Berger. I am Associate Professor of History and Art History and the Director of the African and African American Studies Program at George Mason University. So why should anyone study African American Studies at Mason? There's lots of great reasons. There's a lot of controversy right now about black studies and black history. And to me, Mason is the place to have those conversations. We are 15 miles outside of the nation's capital. We are amongst some of the most important Civil War sites historically here. We are very close to Jamestown and the areas in which the first enslaved people were brought to the United States. And as such, we have an obligation as citizens to explore this history, to explore it in all of the, the, the good and the bad, the hard, the painful, and to really understand how that history impacts conversations that we're having today. I'm pleased to say that as of this year, it's also a major concentration. So um, in our you know, over 50 year history, we've never been able to offer a major and now we can. And I would love to have students um, be part of that inaugural cohort of majors. The study of African American studies spans political science, it spans anthropology, it, it spans all of the sciences and engineering. And so it's possible for someone to undertake both an African and African American studies um, degree and another degree, so to study them in conjunction. And it's really helpful um, to understand the, the social and, and critical underpinnings of our nation's culture while you're studying other things. I'm working on two projects right now. One is with my colleagues, Drs. Ben Carton, Dr. George Oberly, and Dr. Wendy Manuel Scott. Um, it is a student faculty research project called Black Lives Next Door, George Mason in an Age of Disparity and Opportunity. And this project um, uses students to do research on the founding early years of George Mason University. So we believe that all students should understand the history of the area in which they're going to school. And so the work that we do is meant to bring to light um, how challenging it was in those early years as Mason was becoming an independent institution for it to be the diverse and equitable university that it's striving to be right now. We know that that wasn't always the case. We know that black students struggled to get into the university. They struggled to feel as though they belonged at the university. We know that there were black communities um, just right on the outskirts of what we know as campus that were displaced. We know that some of this land was, was owned by people who enslaved people. And we believe that it's an obligation for our students to do this research and for people to understand that history. Then I'm also working on my own book project, my second book, which is called um, Stolen Moments, Jewish Images, Black Culture, and the Making of Racial Identity in America. I study the intersections of the black and Jewish diasporas. So I'm looking at how black and Jewish people came together to produce art and social activism. And my book is looking at how black people used images in Jewish culture, Jewish themes in their work as they were trying to understand racism and anti-Semitism in the 20th century. So I'm looking at visual artists, I'm looking at musicians, writers, playwrights, some names you might know like Lorraine Hansberry, um, Henry Oswa Tanner is an, is an artist, Richard Wright, um, Nina Simone, all of these artists in some way um, were engaging with Jewish culture as a way for them to understand the intersections of racism and anti-Semitism. Why should students study art history? Art gives us a shared language to discuss things that are hard to discuss. People can argue about politics, but if you're looking at a painting and trying to understand politics through creative expression, you have different conversations. And I think that art has such a powerful way of bringing people together to have conversations. And as we know, it is very difficult for people to, to talk to each other these days and to have conversations. And so I think that art history classes serve an important role in developing students as scholars and as citizens. What's the best part about teaching at Mason? Everything. 
The students are so diverse. They come from different parts of the country. They are different ages and stages, different career paths, and they each come with a hunger for learning that make it a joy to teach in the classroom.